Okay, Sheikh, in this day and age, it's quite popular, especially with the age of Netflix and Amazon and different uh, media outlets, that there's a lot of movies and seasonal programs which take up a lot of time, you know, hours and hours of programs. Uh, what advice would you give to the youth regarding this? Well, the only advice I would give to the youth is to fear Allah Azza wa Jal. And whenever you want to watch something, ask yourself, is this pleasing Allah or displeasing Allah? Which means that if I die while watching it, will I go to Jannah or I go to Jahannam? Because this is the last thing I did. And the Prophet said, Innam al -a'malu bil -khawateen. And this is an addiction. And you find this in the youth. They watch a movie, lots of action and car racing and violence and guns and women and partying and comedy for two hours after it's finished what happens they're bored so they watch another movie and they're happy throughout the movie because it's like some uh, being sedated a tranquilizer it makes them out of this world so i'm watching this airplane is landing he's jumping with the parachute mashallah he shoots in the room and he never refills his gun I need this gun he killed almost 200 with the same magazine well what kind of gun is this but it's fun I'm liking it after the movie is over watch another one and a third one and a tenth one and a hundred one and your life is gone down the drain what did you benefit from watching the movie nothing just killing time and time as I've just mentioned in the lecture is your life so all of these net, net, what is it? Netflix. Netflix and Amazon and Google and YouTube, and these, this is an addiction. It's there for you to get your mind preoccupied with shaitan. And this is why if someone comes and says, listen, listen, put it on pause. I have an ayah to recite to you. What he will say, Alhamdulillah, go, go to hell, man. I'm watching a movie. I don't want to listen to ayah. Akhi, I'm telling you ayah from Allah. He said, yeah, but I'm watching uh, Paramount. What, what is this? I'm watching something. So you find that shaitan is controlling you. And this is what shaitan does 24-7. You wake up in the morning. The first thing you do is brush your teeth. You listen to the radio. And there's music. And there is a, a quiz show. Whatever. Preoccupying your mind. You go to the office magazines and newspaper or call emails whatever you go back home you have lunch and sleep like a dead uh, uh, animal you wake up three four remotes d d t d s t v and uh, what, whatever I, th I think the, so many remotes so many receivers and from one channel to the other to the other by 12 o'clock one o'clock it's time to sleep you go to sleep where is your prayer where is your Quran, Juzu? Where is your lecture of today? Where is your hadith that you teach your wife and children? Or two or three? What did you do for Akhirah? Nothing. And this vicious cycle goes on and on until you go to your grave. In your grave, it's empty. It's hot. It's dark. While others, when they die, their graves are furnished, air-conditioned from Jannah. Believe that? The believer's grave, they have a window bringing from the breeze of Jannah. Do you need air conditioning? And it's filled with light to the end of their sight. Then this is what you get. You want net, net flex? This is up to you. But remember that you are furthering yourself away from Allah Azza wa Jal. May Allah grant us Jannah.